What's up, y'all? <clears throat> Real talk, pop culture, junk, Mars. I'm talking about uh, Lovecraft Country. Last episode, uh, episode eight. Um, real good. They um, went back in time to get the book of names or whatever from uh, Tulsa. Was a, you know, if you know the history of Tulsa, um, they burnt down Black Wall Street, all that shit, and a uh, tick. And his um his family, whatever, go back in time. His uh his aunt come back just the time or stepmom, however you wanna see that shit. Um, he find out that he finds out for himself, because we as the audience found out I had that boosy crud in the corner of my mouth, yeah. So he find we find out he, he finds out, Tick finds out for himself that um George might be his dad or whatever, or probably is his dad. Um, we learned that his daddy been, uh, gay for a good minute or whatever. And, um, since he was, like, a little boy or whatever, find out that his daddy was abusive. And, I mean, we already knew his daddy was abusive, obviously, but, um, talking about, uh, Montrose, the Montrose character. And, um. I want to call him Michael T. Hall so bad, but I think that's a white dude. Um, I forgot my man's name, Michael something. Anyway, um, the Omar guy, who played Omar on the wire. I like how it addressed, um, I like how the show period just addressed stuff that in the black community, you know, we don't talk about, we don't, we don't, we don't even address ourselves. And how normal that shit was even back then, like people was walking by. My man outside beating the shit out of his son with a with a branch, nigga. He beating that boy with a branch. He ain't beating him with like a belt or nothing. He, take, he took a branch off a tree, beat the shit out that boy in the yard. And the neighbor next door came out when his daughter came out. And my man was finna hit his daughter with that shit. My man came out, checked the hell out of his daddy. So, um, what's up with that though? You know what I mean? I think I'm gonna do an episode on here about that on how we just like as a people we just complacent with a lot of shit that ain't cool. Um, in our own community, our own family, shit, next door. I done seen some shit in my in my family. Um, but, uh, shit, I didn't, I'm a victim. I mean, let's, let's talk about it. Fuck it. I'm a victim of uh, abuse, neglect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my mom was very abusive. My pops was neglectful as fuck. Um, people, relatives, knew what was up, knew my mom wasn't right. Um, then do shit when they probable, you know. I like how the show address that. It don't shy away from it. That's some real shit. I like um. I like how they. I like how the characters are fleshed out. Um. I didn't like how. The lady character was just like walking. She don't even know old oh, girl like having seizures and shit, trying to keep the gate open and shit. And uh, I'm at work. Um, text uh, honking at a coworker or whatever. Long story short, though, that was a good ass episode. Um. It was a, it was a it was a emotional episode because it made you like connect with it made it, it made Macho some more sympathetic character. At first he was just fucking irritating, but now it's like damn like dog kind of fucked up from you know growing and it, it, like, that's what I'm saying like as a person as a black man seeing that and then you know being somebody who experienced trauma and stuff like that, um, experience being traumatized like that. At least you with PTSD, you know what I'm saying? Um, being beat on like that from a child growing up or whatever. Um, at least you with a lot of frustration, a lot of rage, you know? You don't even know where the fuck is coming from. And I'm glad that I got a lot of that shit on my system before I had um, my own kids or whatever. And, like, I, I, like, yeah, my biggest fear is becoming, like, my mom or my dad just being, you know, comfortable like I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know that's another that's another conversation but like yeah it 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 definitely made me think about like you know the consequent side effects that most people don't think about 
when they are like I don't know, like a lot of people don't know keep it real with themselves that they're not good parents. You know what I'm saying? And then the people around them people, you know what I mean? Like uh, the tick character said, he said he had to make peace with his dad and try to, you know, deal with that shit. And then he had to forgive his mother, his aunt, and his uncle for just, you know, letting leaving him in that situation, not saving him. And that's a lot of shit to put on somebody. You know what I mean? Think about that shit. You, you, you watch this nigga get his ass beat, but he can't hold this, his uh, oppressors accountable. Man, he, he soldiers through that. And then you want this nigga to forgive. He want to forgive the people that 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 did, that failed to protect him. And then you want the nigga to forgive the oppressor. I mean, that's some crazy shit, dog. Like, but like that's Black America. Like, I mean, you know, people get gunned down in the motherfucking street, and you expect them, you expect us to. What comments say? That was some stupid ass shit. We gotta just love the police, y'all. That was some goofy ass shit. I mean, get it. I, I'm not. I'm not one of the people that's gonna sit here and say defund the police or no shit like that either. But at the same time, it's like, damn, dog. Like, you know what I mean? Like, god damn. Like, you can't just forgive everything. You know what I mean? At some point, you gotta face some shit down. That's why shit is so hot right now. Um. It's, it's a good show, man, because it captures the horror black people had to live with. And on top of it, they add, like, a cosmic horror to it or a cosmic uh, science fiction element to it and everything. But that's a that's a good show. And then, like I said, like, uh, how the episode ended, like, we see the, the police chief, captain, whatever, get, like, ate up and bit up or whatever. And uh, I seen somebody in a review video say, you know, well, he, he might not be dead. You know what I mean? He, he, he could still be alive or whatever because... You know, my mans do magic. And sure enough, this motherfucker was alive for a minute anyway. Um, trying to, you know, restore his body and shit. And uh, wasn't nothing working. Because old girl had put a spell on him or whatever the fuck. But long story short, though, man. That's a good-ass show, man. Y'all, y'all really need to check that out. Um, Like I said, if you if you're in a True Blood... Or if you into uh, any of you know, anything like supernatural, like type TV shows, or whatever, and um, you like black shows or black black drama, shit like that, or whatever, Lovecraft Country is like is definitely definitely a good show for uh, you to watch. Um, but I said, shout out to HBO Max, man, they doing their thing out there. Um, hit that like and subscribe button. Real talk, pop culture junkie. It's your boy Mars. I'm about to go back to work in a minute, y'all. Talk to y'all later.